What's cooking guys and welcome to my channel. Since my Starbucks copycat recipes are so popular with you guys, I decided to do another one which is going to be the pumpkin loaf cake or the pumpkin loaf bread. It has warm flavors from the cinnamon and the pumpkin spice, but then it's also nice and sweet and has a texture on the outside that just cannot be beat. Now I'm not a big pumpkin spice type of person, but I do like seasonal foods. So this is perfect for fall season, which is upon us. And thank God for that because I think I was ready for summer to end from like a month ago so stay tuned for the recipe subscribe to my channel if you are new here and you would like to join the foodie family and now let's get baking let's preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and while my oven preheats I'm going to grease my loaf pan I already put oil in there and I'm lining the pan with some parchment paper or baking paper so it doesn't stick to the pan at all. You want to press down the paper to stick it to the oil that is at the bottom and then spray more oil on the top of the paper ensuring that our loaf cake does not stick at all. Set this aside for now. Now in a large bowl I'm going to prep my dry ingredients first. And I have all-purpose flour here and I'm using one and a half cups of it. Then I have baking soda and I'm adding one teaspoon. Then we also have baking powder and I added half a teaspoon of this. Now add in the pumpkin spice powder. You can make your own as well by combining cinnamon, cloves and nutmeg. It's so easy to make at home guys. And I added one tablespoon of that here. Then we have some salt, just a pinch or two, or like a quarter teaspoon if you want to be exact. And then with a whisk, combine all the dry ingredients really well till they are incorporated together. And once they are mixed well, you can set this aside for now. And now let's move on to the wet ingredients. For the wet ingredients in a medium bowl, I'm going to add a half a cup of olive oil. You can also use coconut, vegetable or canola oil if you prefer those. And then add one cup of granulated sugar. You can do half white sugar and half light brown sugar, but regular sugar is also fine. And then add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now I have one 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree and this is just the pumpkin, no added sugar or other stuff. And you can also make your own pumpkin puree guys by cooking the pumpkin first and then pureeing it of course. Make sure to cool it completely before using it in this recipe if you make your own puree. I also have three eggs here at room temperature. And as per usual, I will be breaking in one at a time in case the egg is defected and just add them in the bowl with the other ingredients as well. And just with a whisk, you don't even need an electric mixer here. You want to combine all the wet ingredients really, really well till they break down and are incorporated well together. And now in the large bowl with the prepared dry ingredients, I'm going to add the prepared wet ingredients all in there. This recipe is super simple, you guys. It's basically two steps, the dry and the wet steps, and then just combining both of the dry and wet ingredients together. And with the same whisk, combine the dry and wet ingredients, making sure if there are any lumps, you want to break them down completely. But if you end up with a few lumps in the batter, it's totally fine, guys. And now the batter is done, and I'm loving that burnt orange fall autumn color I have here. Now in the greased loaf pan with the parchment paper, you want to pour all the batter in there and make sure with the spatula to even out the top of the batter. Now I have these small pumpkin seeds or they are also called pepitas and I'm just taking a few to sprinkle them on top of the batter. These really do complete the look of the loaf cake and make it resemble the Starbucks one. But if you don't have these, you can just omit it from the recipe.
Now let's put the loaf cake in the oven and I'm baking it for an hour but everyone's oven is different so just keep an eye out on it. After an hour I'm going to insert a toothpick in there to see if it comes out clean. And it sure does, so now this is done. And I'm just going to remove it from the oven and let it cool in the pan for like 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, you can remove it from the loaf pan gently. And I'm just lifting the parchment paper to take it out of the pan. And the paper makes your life so easy with this loaf cake. And then let it cool on the rack for at least 30 minutes to an hour before cutting into it. So I cut into the loaf cake and let me break a little piece to show you guys the inside and can you see how perfect that is looking? I can definitely say this looks better than the Starbucks one and also tasted better with the freshly baked pumpkin and pumpkin spice flavors together. So that's it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed my pumpkin loaf cake recipe which is a copycat recipe from Starbucks. You guys loved my banana bread recipe which is also a copycat recipe and then the lemon loaf cake from Starbucks as well. So I hope you really enjoy this one and if you do recreate it at home tag me on all my socials. Also let me know in the comments down below how you guys like today's recipe. I would love to hear from you. Make sure to subscribe before you leave and hit the thumbs up button to show your support and I'll see you in the next one guys. Until then take care of yourselves.